from a theory perspective, we always talk about how companies need to have a risk management plan in place, but that is not always the case. So frequently they learn the hard way uh, through a hurricane or a tornado or a tsunami and then the next time they start thinking about it and uh, the ones that are more frequently exposed typically are the ones that also have the best risk management plans. So always we uh, teach in, in our courses about uh, the Waffle House Index that uh, the Thema director was talking about. That if the Waffle House is down, that's red level. If it is uh, able to operate with a limited menu, it's yellow level. And uh, if it is uh, operational with its full menu, then obviously it's green. And uh, it is true. I mean, the Waffle House is very well prepared. They know immediately which stores are going to be affected. Uh, they call immediately their employees to know who can show up or cannot. Uh, they have uh, temporary warehouses where they will have some of their material. And the most important is they know they can't operate with a full menu. So they immediately know what are the uh, five, six basic items they need to have in order to be operational. I always like to talk about the stories that uh, suddenly a few days after the, the tsunami, you start read, reading in the local press in Louisiana uh, that uh, the auto part factory is going to be down. Okay. As, uh, the, the stories, uh, the, the next day of the tsunami was about an HP executive waking up at three o'clock in the morning okay, to find out that fundamentally 50% of his products might be affected. Uh, flash memory. Uh, most of the flash memory is actually produced in Japan. So many of those companies had, uh, had to struggle, and uh, for sure th th that reduced uh, their supply levels. Uh, the, the Japanese uh, car companies, even though most of their assembly factories are to the south of Japan, and of course they have a lot of capacity outside of Japan, they got affected. They brought uh, their production levels down to 70%. So now we're hearing that uh, Toyota is ready to bring it up to 90%. So remember that that was March and now it is June and hopefully by July they will be close to full production. Here at uh, the All In Business School we, we have expertise in supply chain and we think of ourselves as being at the cutting edge. And now the last two years we have explicitly introduced a course called Supply Chain Risk Management, dealing uh, with issues about managing all risks, including disasters, as well as other risks that became quite prominent the, the, um, this year. I mean, commodity prices, exchange rates, and so on. Uh, so we use a lot of those examples, and we go back to the best companies on how they are able to respond. We talk about Cisco, uh, a great uh, example, and the company that gets all the time exposed. Uh, electronics industry is heavily exposed to global supply chain risks, and then uh, my favorite story is the Waffle House and the Home Depot. And we have a nice simulation where we put the students in situations where they have to make decisions in the presence of disasters. And then suddenly you realize how your thinking is different when you face a worst case scenario versus uh, the everyday operation of a business. You think differently. So you try to minimize your exposure to the worst case versus on average what is the best way to operate.